Listening to the Mentality Show, only on LA Talk Radio. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the Mentality Show, episode twenty-seven. Gentlemen, give ourselves a hand. Right. That's right. That's what's up. It is good to be back every week. We are blessed to be here with you. Yes, we are. We love you guys, and we love that you watch our show each and every week. All of our dedicated Mentalians out there, keep up the good work. Tell all your friends. Let them join us because we are here to help you and you only, okay? That's right. Uh, and that's our job. That's our job. We're all mentors at this table. Let me introduce ourselves, ourselves. I'm your host, Delano. I'm the man with the plan. I'm the guy, a.k.a. the man. There you go, right? Be okay. Man. We all agree with that. Okay? Be a man boy. You got my man, <laughs> Texy. Texy second. <laughs> See, I did not bring up the word penis today. He did. Just for the record. Just for the record. That's just for the record. He brought it up. All right. Texy, sexy, Texy. How you feel, man? Sexy. Feel good. Feel good? You got good. your daddy hat on and everything, you know? <laughs> right. Go you think? Okay. <laughs> Pimp suede. All right. Got my man Vato V. What's up, Miraza? Representing all of our Hispanic folks out there and just people with flavor and style mm. and swag, right? That's right. Good to have you, man. How Gracias. was your week? How it was, was everybody's great. week? Good, no, man. I'm blessed, man. I can't complain, man. I, you know, knew something new coming up, so yeah, you know, I'm, I'm hoping everything goes well. You and feel uh, good, man. You, know, you feel good. You, good. you smell good, man. You I smell good this week, man. Anyway, got man. Save the best for last. Delano, I'm your host. <laughs> 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 got my man, got my man, Lashawn the Dunn in the house. LaShawn's How you feeling, Lashawn? Feeling great, man. Yeah, feeling All great. Good, man, my son's been pitching his ass off. So That's right. Okay. Shout out to my little man. He's That's doing his thing, Paul right. Ball. That's right. Um, and your daughter yeah. had a, a birthday uh, this yes. past weekend. You've been a sweet daughter, busy so father. Zaya, yeah, That's very right. busy, very busy life. Yeah, uh, there you go. Got right, the you kids, go. you know. So <laughs> keep your ass busy. All the Our show last week was, or the week before that was about father fatherhood and everything so we talk about things on this show as far as men grown-ass men that's what we do and speaking of grown-ass man that's right we got the uh hell of a grown-ass man here today yep. please welcome to the show everyone all of you folks walking at home watching at home give a hand for dr michael whitman here today oh, welcome. Thank, thank you guys with us today a very warm welcome thank so you. good yep. to have him. Hey, somebody mentioned before the show tom brady man Oh. I so agree with that, man. Handsome guy, good looking, Don't rich. Don't insult me like that. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. No, thank you. So good to have you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Whitman, he's a licensed clinical psychologist and sports psychologist throughout Los Angeles. He has a few group practices in the L.A. area. His main office is in Beverly Hills. Yep. Uh, he also has a podcast called The Shrink in Beverly Hills. Yes. Okay. Catch, that's on YouTube, I believe, right? It's on YouTube and Apple iTunes. And Apple iTunes. Oh, oh wow. He's doing. He's bigger than us. Man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sounds yeah. big. We're working on, that, on getting on Apple iTunes. Uh, and, his, and his website, if you want to check out more, and we'll give you this information later as well, is www.drmichaeljwhitman.com. That's www.drmichaeljwhitman.com. Once again, great to have you here. Yes, sir. Thank and, you. And uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things today. You're going to analyze some of the things we have to say. Well, I did and, a quick, uh, I looked at it quick. All the guests before seemed to be beautiful Latinas. <laughs> right. And now it's me, so I feel like, wow, how did I get in here? I'll take it. Hey, you slipped through I the cracks, saw a pattern. Don't you? Right. That's right. You slipped through the cracks, man. And, uh, and, and you are here. And. You have a lot of things to say today, and you're okay. going to hit on some of the things that we're yep. talking about. Um, <laughs> and um, and like I said, you're a clinical psychologist, a sports psychologist, a mentality show psychologist. Yep. <laughs> you you talked with a few of us before the show. You've had some some conversation. Who's the craziest person at yep. this table? That you Yeah, he said before he could even ask the question. Huh? He needs to be. You guys seem like a good group. I got a good vibe. Oh, thank I mean, you, thank you. I got thank a good. Vato V doesn't have any issues that you notice or anything like that. <laughs> no, so not yet. Something about that look in his eyes sometimes that's right. to it's me. It's a killer man. look. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's killer. got a little. Don't, crazy, don't be fooled right? by the look yeah. on Vato V. Vato V got like three knives in his pocket right now. Yeah, that's the cut. That's a nice guy. That's the cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, before we get started with anything, let's talk about our sponsor. Our sponsor today and every week, of course, is L.A. Aerial Images. That's L.A. Aerial Images. Image. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> this show LA is LA's Elegis Images. LA Aerial Images. This show is live. We have some fuck ups. That's the air out of the head. LA Aerial Image. Oh, my gosh. I know somebody's going to kill me for that. LA Aerial Image. Uh, these are the guys responsible for all the production work on our show. Uh, they do all of our Streetwalker segments, they do all of our uh, skits and things like that. If you watch, or when you watch these things, you'll notice the, the just the great production on, the, on these projects. All that's brought to you by LA Aerial Image. Tech C, he's the he's the man when it comes to this company. Yeah, anything man. you anything yeah, you want to say regarding LA Aerial Image? Uh, if you have uh, if you need some uh, marketing videos for your company, just give us a holla. Just give us a holla. We do, a do drones. We do, we do production. We do everything. Do something strange for a dollar. You give us a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, aerial image. Uh, I don't think they do porn yet. They haven't cracked into that. But get some aerial images of some uh, booty smacking. There you go. <laughs> My From the air. Hey, you could probably make some money doing that. On that. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Dr. Whitman is like, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, I, I know I'm in the valley, but I didn't know we were in that, <laughs> that part of the valley. Right? Yeah. We're, in the good, right. we're in the good side of the valley. Not too far from Chatsworth, you know. There it is. Uh, yeah. So if you want to chime in on some of the things we talked today, by the way, let me give you a little subject teaser what does it mean to be a man in today's society man what is up with the s's in me today man my big lips are getting in the way <laughs> what does it mean to be a real man in today's society stereotypes and myths that are out there about men that may or may not be true that's what we're covering on our show today yep. and uh if you want to chime in on this write it down if you don't have it all already the number is 818-570-5085 that's 818- Five seven zero five zero eight five. So we talked about our sponsor, and as you know, we cover everything on this show, folks. Everything on this show, everything. Okay, from Donald Trump's popularity and why it's getting bigger to why does Lashawn the Don always have to use the word nigga <laughs> on this show? What's up with that, man? What's up with that? Show? I gotta get it out of me, man. Uh, I just, you know. <laughs> I'm here to see this doctor after the show about that, as a matter of fact. Well, I, I guarantee made an that's, appointment, so. that sentence has never been said in the English language. Yeah. Donald Trump and LaShawn LaDon saying. <laughs> that's that's oh, yeah. Hey, that's, I yeah. should so say, why does that? Donald Trump always using the word nigga? Yeah. That's yeah. what I should, yeah. I don't know yeah. if uh, Kanye gave him a false black card or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's been hanging out with him lately. I don't know if that what's going on with that, but uh, it's, it makes secure. for good entertainment. I don't know. Yeah. It's more of a sideshow at this point, but yeah, yeah. We try not to get too much into politics except yeah. during our yeah. rhymes. Yeah, yeah. we ain't gonna do that. My bad. Unless Donald Trump really, really fucks up, which is pretty much every week, which is why we talk about politics every day, every day, every day. <laughs> All right, what else do we cover, Bato V? Hey, from the <laughs> from the Off Road Show in Pomona. And our street walk walk talks to White Lashana <laughs> Down is the opposite of chalk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Opposite color of chalk. Oh. <laughs> see, oh, see who's oh, fucking oh, up on oh, the rhymes oh, today. Oh, 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 I gotta beef up my rhymes now. I gotta beef them up. Whatever. Oh my god. You got me back for last week, yo. You can't. He can't say you fuck up on your rhymes anymore. He's my turn twice. I'm a freestyle. Now I'm gonna fuck this up. I'm black. You know, he's like, you fuck up on your freestyle. He's just looking at me. You fuck up on your rhyme. My rhyme. My rhyme was better. I'm more of a freestyler, man. But we do these little rhymes every week. You thought those shadow over there you know? shadow doctor asked if you were black i said I no that's that. that's not the wall that is the sean the doctor Dunn. said without a shadow of a doubt and, and that, that's not a uh, gray on his beard that's ash okay so <laughs> it's lotion my uh, <laughs> nice all right what do we cover tech uh, from the topic of today's show stereotypes of a man to the sean don love a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm the beef today, <laughs> boy. They getting on me. Oh, I, my God. Oh, I hope you got something for all of us. What you got, LaShawn? I, I need to fucking buffing it up now because I'm just like getting tagged triple hey. teamed over here. You know? so. Did I say something about I did say something about you. Okay, my yeah, I'm, okay. I'm hella ashy. What was I? I'm, a I'm tan, 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 chalky, tan chalky, opposite of chalk. Opposite of chalk. So when he said chalk, I just uh, immediately thought ash. So I just, <laughs> okay, you call me ashy, but I'm the opposite of chalk. Hey, I feel bad. Chalk. To, I feel bad to say that I write these guys. <laughs> oh, wow. It's today, cool. We're going in next week <laughs> and in the middle of the show. Just stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Oh, man. What you got, LaShawn? What you got? What are we covering? So, from London Bridges falling down <laughs> to the best psychology doctor in town. There you go. Sorry, Delano. You got to get your Viagra from underground. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to write you a prescription for that. Damn. <laughs> he, 
You're out of luck, man. I'm sorry. Oh, man. That was, see, that was the main thing. Right, I brought you're the laying in wait. I think he, yeah, he, he writes other prescriptions. Now, if I came to you like, hey, I just can't do it, doctor. I need to get this sucker up. You you would. You mean you want a follow-up session from the other session? We had, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> doctor give got in on him. Get it up. Doctor got, got in on him. Yes, sir. Everybody had to get in, okay. man. I love it. I love it. it That's all right. They got on me last Whitney. week. So. Yes, sir. She got, she got on me last week. I don't know who she was. Somebody had texted me. <laughs> no, that was uh, – who was last week's guest? Uh, you guys don't remember? Wow, okay. I forget old? the name. So, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you Wise. don't remember either. Wise was her name. Wise, that's right. Last yes. name Wise. She was great on the show, too, yeah. by the way. So, let's go ahead and get into uh, the meat and potatoes. Dr. Or, no, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Let's get into the meat and uh, homeless version of our show Sam, here. Sam, can we bust a picture of Mr. Potato Head? Please? Never mind. Wait, Never mind. Delano, hey, just take your hat off. Yeah, I yeah. talked about uh, Did we go on the show today or Saturday? Yeah, yeah, we're about to get on this oh, okay. right now. Yeah, so, okay. uh, oh, sir, nice. can, I, meat oh, can I do my job, sir? <laughs> your job, sir. Don't fuck this up. Did you, uh, Don't fuck it up. If you read the script there, you'll see we're about to get into that. Somebody doesn't read their scripts. <laughs> anyway, what does it mean? To be a real man these days. Be a man boy. <laughs> That's right. Be a man boy. <laughs> what makes a real man? Do gender roles still exist or is equality for all sexes finally here with the Me Too movement and all that going on? Well, apparently, even though women have fought for years for equality regarding the sexes, there are still people out there that believe real men don't exist or have disappeared. So we're going to talk about the stereotypes, some fucked up, some good that the world have placed on us men today and whether they are true or just myths from our own research and experiences and these type of things. So as, uh, as you know, when we want answers on this show, what do we do, gentlemen? What do we do? We hit the streets, right? We hit the streets, right. we hit the streets and we talk to the people, okay? Because we have our own experiences, but we want to talk to the people and see what they have to say. So, Sammy, if you go, got our video going, uh, going there, we're going to go ahead and see what the people have to say. Go ahead and roll that video for us, Sammy. Is it true that real men don't cry? And men with big lifted trucks, are they compensating for something? Do all black men have large penises? Well, we're here at the Lucas Oil Off-Road Expo here in Pomona, California to find out the answers to those questions and much, much more here in the Mentality Show Streetwalker segment. Vamos! All right, so as you know, we're talking about stereotypes that men match or don't match. And I'm here with a grown man here, as you can see. Very grown. Very grown man. All right, let me ask you this. What is the one stereotype out that they say about men that you would say fits you to a T? Uh, I'd have to say probably after 40, everything goes bad. <laughs> and it's gone south. Everything's gone yeah. south. But I'm right. getting in shape. Yeah, hey, there you go. Rounds of shape. That's <laughs> We all think size matters. <laughs> <laughs> now, size matters. Are we talking about truck size? Are we talking about other sizes? Yeah, truck size. Truck size. Is there any one or, or, or numerous amounts that you might be able to relate to? Uh, maybe the one that walks around his house in his women's underwear. In women's underwear. <laughs> we got one. All right. I haven't done that in years. I used to have a pink thong that was oh, my wow, favorite. Oh, wow. Yeah, the whale tail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whale tail. Um, I know in my house it's definitely that... Uh, that the man doesn't want to cook, clean, do the laundry, do the dishes, mm -hmm. do any of that type of stuff. Right? Okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure my wife would support that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so you're saying that's true? Probably okay. so. Gotcha. So let me ask you this. They say men are afraid to cry. Are, you look like a tough guy, man. Have you ever been in a situation where you where tried to be tough to... and couldn't cry? Uh, honestly, no, man. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with uh, crying. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's really not that big of a deal to me. Okay. And, but it only happens when I get really drunk, though. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck it. I'm you get cry. emotional. Yeah. The alcohol. Yeah. So they say that men are afraid to cry and men are afraid to ask for directions. Are you any of those stereotypes as well? Oh, yes. I, I want to ask for directions. And even when I've got my ways on, I'll argue with it about <laughs> the directions they're giving me. <laughs> and what about crying? If I took your beer right now, is it going to make you cry? No, I'd punch you. You'd punch <laughs> So there you go, it's true. Men, there are some men out there that fit the stereotypes, you know? 
All right, I'm here with Road to Recovery. It's a program that helps injured sports athletes. And uh, these young ladies, April and Kate the Great, are going to tell you a little bit about it. And then they're also going to answer some questions for us regarding stereotypes in men. So tell us a little bit about your organization. So Road to Recovery mm -hmm. is a nonprofit organization that mm -hmm. helps out with injured action sports athletes like right. Colton Moore here. Right. He was one of our uh, X Games athletes for the winter games. That right. He did a double backflip on his snowmobile, and he landed poorly and ended up injuring a bunch of his vertebrae. And he has been working on a learning how to rewalk and learning how to re-exist. And Road right. Recovery goes in and they really help out these guys that have been injured right. in these more extreme level of sports, the non-traditional outside of the box kind of. Right, right. They take That's a lot great. more out of you. And uh, Road Recovery goes in there and they help negotiate hospital bills and they work with uh, all the ins and outs of being injured. And they really take their best care of these guys to get what they can. If you're listening, please give and help these athletes because these athletes are here to entertain us, entertain you. And they're only human, okay? So things can happen and this is a great program that's gonna help these athletes. Rosie, let me ask you this. What are some of the stereotypes out there about men that you feel are fucked up or some that are deserved? Um, I think it's kind of fucked up that men are considered to be not helpful around the house. I mean, don't they thank you. cut the lawn and pull the weeds? Uh, I don't do that shit, but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you for all men out there who do that shit. Never mind, I guess it is true. Right. Men are really lazy though. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe men should clean and cook. But my boyfriend does not, but, okay. but okay. they should. Uh -huh. it's a it's a team effort. But uh -huh. well, uh, I guess that's not a stereotype that <laughs> most men. I can appreciate a guy that you know like cries and then wants to build something. I think it's cool cries to have a mix. With his hands. You know, you know. Yeah, there you go. So some of the stereotypes out there about men aren't so bad. Okay, I think that's the lesson here, and these ladies are here to prove it. Let me ask you this, why do men, why are men afraid to ask for directions? Um, they think they know where they're going, but they don't. They don't? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm here with the beautiful... Brenda. Brenda? Jay. Jay. Otherwise known as BJ. <laughs> hey, he said it, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm here with the couple BJ, and this is our first couple today, and this is perfect because we're asking questions about stereotypes and, you know, regarding men, if they're true or not true. So, B, let me ask you this question. What's the number one stereotype out there about men that they say, would you say is true or not true? Lifted truck, small penis. True. <laughs> Absolutely true. And we got a lot of men here at this expo with, that drive a lot of big trucks. Well, I get it. I get it. Right. I understand. You got to go with what you like. But you go with you're what definitely you like. compensated if you got this giant truck right. and all it does is go to the mall. <laughs> All right, is he good That's with fair. fixing things? Is he good yeah, with his hands? Absolutely. absolutely. Oh, yeah, so dude. this is a real, all right, we're the mentality <laughs> my show. My hands, son of a bitch. You're right. <laughs> uh, I'm good with my hands, dude. You just keep those hands over there, OK? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stay on my side, right? So I'm going to say this. We are the mentality show. We represent men. And I have to say, you are a true. Is, is this not a grown-ass man here today? Oh, fuck yeah. This man represented. Cheers, represented. guys. Cheers. All the stereotypes they say about us are not true. He represented today. Thank you so right. much. BJ in the house. Absolutely. Yes, awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it. We talked to the people. They gave us our answers about stereotypes. What did you gentlemen learn today? Men actually take out the trash. Real men don't cry. We saw. <laughs> Trucks, fucks, and penises be compensated for. <laughs> And speaking of penises, I've learned and always have known that like men have the largest penises. We cannot confirm nor deny that. Haters. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see more of this and find out answers, catch us this Wednesday and every Wednesday at 6 p.m. on The Mentality Show. Hey, look at that penis. Right there, look at that penis. Look at that large truck over there. Hey. Oh, penis over here. <laughs> penis and truck everywhere. Vamos. <laughs> Hey, 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 and we're back. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. He's still playing grab ass over here. Each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, all right. all we're all brothers here, but golly. Uh -huh. <laughs> somebody, somebody took a little bit too far. All right, thanks to the yeah. good folks at you. Lucas Oil and Pomona Fairplex for the graciousness at the Off-Road Expo this weekend. Thank you guys for uh, allowing us to uh, do our location there. Um, so you're never going to find a bigger collection of men anywhere than a damn off-road expo, right, oh, yeah. gentlemen? Hell yeah. Okay. Big trucks. <laughs> yep. Big trucks. A lot of compensation for things. <laughs> little little pins. Compensation. <laughs> <Big trucks>. Compensation. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, so we did our research, and we heard what these men and some of the women there had to say. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it, gentlemen. Let's get into this, some of the, like, the top stereotypes. And by the way, what you just saw, mm -hmm. the uh, street mentality 
deal there. If you want to see the whole, I believe the whole nine minutes, <laughs> nine <laughs> hours, something minutes. like that, including outtakes and things like that. You, you get can to see catch the outtakes of this guy fucking up. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hey, always. Yeah, I'm a professional. That's what we do. <laughs> um, you can see all that on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, The Mentality Show. Yes, That's all you have to do is put that in. All of our shows, all of our 20, all 27, I believe 25 of our shows because Tech C was too lazy to put two shows in there. Oh, um, <laughs> you can see, and uh, you'll see how we just basically morphed into the men that we are today, right? Oh, yeah. We started as boys, and now we're men. Go, shout out to Sam, go, too. For, uh, shout out to Sam for putting up my bio, uh, you know. Good looking yep. out, man. I'm officially part Sammy. of the mentality That's show. Sammy. Oh, you're on the, on the bio now, he's LaShawn? On the bio. Oh, yeah. You know, see how he's jealous? He's like, oh, hell, oh, hell no. You on the bio? <laughs> no. Hey, where's my headshots? Oh, somebody called one. in and said, why did the screen go black? Like, that's, that's LaShawn the Dunn, you know, his picture. You know, so. <clears throat> Ladies love it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. That's why we have Dr. Whitman here with, with us today. He's going to chime in on these things, and he's going to let us know in his professional opinion why these stereotypes are out there and uh, if they do still exist and, and those type of things. So let's, let's get into it. Number one, and we can go through the list here. I'll, I'll do number one, LaShawn. You can read number two and then Boom. therefore. Okay, so number one, real men don't cry or real men don't know how to express themselves emotionally. Don't know how to cry. That's a stereotype <laughs> that's out there. Yep. Well, um, I think actually people don't know that men are more sensitive than women. Uh -oh. A lot of people right. do not know that. But we have more of a shell and a stereotype. We're not allowed to express it. Right. And we've been socialized that for hundreds of years. It's changing a little bit. Right. But even observing you guys, I can tell you guys like each other and have fun together. Yeah. But the way of bonding is to needle and insult each other. So that's yeah. interesting. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of how we're socialized. It's not cool to say like women do. Oh, you look great today. It's great to see you. It's like why'd you fuck up last week? That's true. <laughs> that's true. Right. That's true. That's, right. that's, that's, true. Right. that's true. I get on these guys all so, the time when they fuck up. Yep. We have narrower. Um, freedom of expression in a way absolutely yeah, there you go i agree we're all sensitive i yeah. believe I'm, I'm i'm probably the most sensitive man at this table yes, that's why is. women love me because yes, i'm very <laughs> empathetic and sympathetic towards their he, needs and things he, like that he puts the ick in pathetic <laughs> <laughs> that's and the does. pee in the pussy there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a good thing all right so so number two LaShawn, what's the, the second the stereotype <laughs> real men like we're talking about what is a real man here so i mean uh, first of all you have to probably have been born with a penis but i'm getting off track here that's the number one criteria <laughs> here like right be a real man have a penis and right. uh, also uh Real men know how to fix shit. Yes. Yep. Fix shit. I don't know how to fix shit. Yeah. I'm not good at fixing cars yep. and doors and things like Just that. Just his hands are soft. <laughs> That's why I call no, this guy. He has soft hands. I can't <laughs> fix it. I mean, you, you I better, be able, that one. You better <laughs> be able to at least change a tire. Uh, do, I'm good with I that. I can do that. You know, I can yeah. do that. I yep. can't change a tire. Yep. That's where That's it starts. It. I mean, if yeah. you can fix shit. You know, just <laughs> this guy's a fix guy. Yeah. This is the fix guy this right guy. here. Yeah, this guy can fix shit. Yeah. He's a man. This is a man right here. He's not a boy. He doesn't know how to express himself <laughs> emotionally, but he's a man. He's so a man. the number one criteria, as I said before, you have to have been born with a penis. Um, <laughs> I'm Nancy Tech. I, you know. <laughs> so this was a low blow. You know? <laughs> he hits me with one-liners. I got to get him. <laughs> <laughs> now, number three, Tech, I know this one bugs you a lot. Uh, real men are the breadwinners. Yeah, they have to pay for know. shit all the time. What's up with that? Why? Why is that? Why? Why do? Why do women look at us as? And I kind of have an understanding of why this came from back in the days when men, you know, they did all the work and women stayed at home and took care of the kids right. and all these type of things. And you know, I have to say this before you get into a doctor. One thing, when you know, you go out, I go out on dates with women, and they say, "I want an old-fashioned man, a man who's gonna, you know, take me out and wine and dine me and these type of things." I'm like, well. I want an old-fashioned woman, a woman who's going to cook for me, you know, maybe <laughs> clean for me every once in a while. But then all of a sudden the dynamic changes right there. So yeah. what is the deal here with uh, that, uh, that stereotype? Why is that stereotype still out well, there? Well, that's traditional, right? The woman does the cooking and cleaning. We go to work and bring home the bacon. Mm -hmm. I think as long as the two people are on the same page and they're not butting heads about it. Now, yes. if you want a traditional woman and she wants to go work more than you, and pay for you and for some reason you don't like that then it wouldn't work or vice versa right you know if you want a woman to pay for you i mean if you want to pay for the woman and she's opposed to that you know which you got to be on the same page right yeah. so i don't right. think it really matters as long as you your guys are compliment each other right well mm -hmm. i think if you're a man and you're comfortable with a with a woman paying for you that's to me in my opinion you're you're, you're not really any type of a man i mean a man um you're like the woman. Yeah, you're like the woman. Yeah. A man should, I mean, it's just instilled in us to go right. out and work, 
even if your woman is making more money than you, you better have a job. Mm-hmm. You better yeah, be doing something to bring some yeah. type of money into the house. You can't be asking your lady for allowance and shit. That, yeah, that's, that's just <laughs> like, hey, babe, hey, uh, babe, oh I clean gosh. the house. Um, <laughs> hey, baby, the dishes I are done. Um, <laughs> I just, can I get 20 to hang out with the yeah, fellas mm-hmm. for a little bit? Just buy a beer? I, I, saw, some <laughs> shoes that, I saw some shoes I want. Can you, can you hook me up with the fuck? Right. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I guarantee if you're... If you, if you, if you, if you're in a situation where you're asking your woman for money, you're putting yourself in a situation where that woman's not going to have any respect for you. Oh, no, no, no. Whatsoever no, no. as a man. You got to be together. If you're together, like, if you're going to be together, if you're, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or wife, husband, and wife, you guys got to put it together, man. If you guys are working for together, sure. hey, you know, it doesn't matter who the hell makes more or what. Exactly. You guys yeah. got to put it together. Foundation. It has to be a joint venture, whether it's uh, kids, like wifey taking care of the kids, doing all that, you bringing yeah. home the bacon. Which is kind of similar to the old fashioned thing, but you don't want an old fashioned, old fashioned like the the honeymooner motherfucker, like <laughs> pow, <laughs> right in the kisser, <laughs> right in the kisser, <laughs> right, <laughs> no, exactly. That's too old school, oh, right, old school. right. You right, want right. this, you know, uh, a genuine balance. Whether it's, uh, you know, you you better not be wearing panties. Like, bring home some bread. <laughs> right, you know? Don't right. be asking for allowance. Yeah. Whatever your financial situation is, get be able know, to take care of be yourself. Able to get your, pull your drawers up. You right, know exactly. I mean? so, <laughs> that's all. If, if that woman left you, you need to be able to take care of yourself as a man, basically. Yep. You know, so right. if she's making two million dollars and you're making and you're able to survive off of one dollar, then you know, add that one dollar to that two million dollars <laughs> to million. have that woman respect one. That's two million, million and one dollar. Take her two million ass dollar to court. <laughs> <laughs> and try to get some damn whatever it's called. They alimony. Get joint, alimony for yeah. joint ventures. Whatever. Yeah, Even, men can we get We were talking to too. Dr. Whitman, and uh, we discussed. Even if you're in a living relationship for like six, seven years, I don't know what the cutoff is, but I you think it's be, ten years. Is yeah, it ten, 10 years? Yeah, okay. 10 years, well, yeah. you still got to break bread after ten years. Actually, so that's yeah. seven. Seven, <laughs> seven <laughs> years. Yeah. Oh seven man, years. Seven, seven years. in California is that the deal, Doctor? Do you know? I, I don't remember. Don't yeah, remember. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are okay. you married, Doctor? You married? I'm not. You married? Ah, okay. A fellow single guy. There you go. I have a girlfriend. There you go. Have a girlfriend. Single doctor. Oh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah that's right. Delano trying to really not married, in trouble, man. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> Delano trying right to get here. a wingman. <laughs> trying, hey. to go, trying to pull a wingman. I, I, I don't, I, yeah, I need more boys to hang out with. Over there. <laughs> we can still <laughs> hang. We can there still hang. Okay. Yeah. People, I'll hang. Uh, they'll think you're Tom Brady and I'm Damon Wayans or something. Man. <laughs> we'll, we'll do big here in Hollywood. <laughs> All right, number four. What's the fourth stereo, biggest stereotype that stereotype. people have about men out there? About Toby? All men are dogs and womanizers. Cheaters. Yeah. Or, you know, we're obsessed with, uh, with sex. <laughs> yeah. And, and we just, how many women have we had on this show that have admitted to us that women love sex just as much as men? Yes. How many, every woman in this, in this chair, right? Yes. Have even said her, that they love sex as much even as her much cutters, as men. Even her cutters said the same shit. Yes. So. That they love sex just as much as men. Yeah. I don't, they're not showing it very well, but they say they do. Yeah. You know, what do you think, doctor? Do women love sex just I mean, as much as I think men and women are not as different as people think. Sure, they love sex. We love sex. Yeah. They, they want to feel good about themselves and work a job usually. We want to feel good self-esteem and work a job. Right. You know, they're sensitive. We're sensitive. We, bo- we all have some of both. You know right, what I mean? right. So I think that the, the differences get exaggerated. Would you, know? you agree that, okay, let's say women love sex just as much as men, men yeah. love sex just as much as women. Would you agree that the only difference is that men, we're into the whole hunter thing where we like to go out and try to get as many women as we want, as we can. Like and women, they're into the whole um, gatherer thing where they're, you know, they're used to men chasing them and, and yeah, I mean, I mean, going after them. To Maybe that. it's kind of an ego thing, you know, with I think it's got a biological basis because, you know, if they're with a man in the old days, that means then they have his baby for nine months. I mean, she's, you know, with them for nine months and then for 18 years, right? Right. Yeah. So whereas the men are built, they can spread their seed. Right. So it's a different biological kind of substrate that, you know, forms our behavior. So right. I think men are more polygamous by, by that, you know. Interesting, interesting. But that, even though they're polygamous also. <laughs> oh, that's, that's sharp yeah. shit he just said. But um, I want to point out also that, like, women – they're freaks too. Like every woman on the show, just yeah. like you Delano just translated said. what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not yeah. get it twisted here. Uh, we had plenty of beautiful women on this show, and they've uh, they've told us that that you know they like sex just as much. Yeah. Matter of fact, there was a girl in high school. We ain't gonna mention no names. It was high school. Uh, she, was, she blew a lot of guys. She's watching. Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> Hope she's not <laughs> running for Supreme Court justice. Right? There you go. Yeah, I got the dirt. Going back but, to high school these days right? with that. Man. Yeah. She just. I mean, just ridiculous how horny some chicks are you know what i mean so Fuck it's just yeah. like would let i, I think the female whole football team get with her like like that you know what i mean I think like females whoa. experience sex in a better way than men do 
Yeah, you explained that because when they have an orgasm, longer orgasm, and guys are just like, boom, done. Yeah. Okay, bye. Women can have extended. But but come on, think about it. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) They got to do a lot more work. They bear children. Socks and sandals. So they deserve those long orgasms. They deserve those long orgasms. Long and good orgasms. All you women out there, keep unicorns. Keep taking care of those kids and getting those long orgasms. Yes. They work for it. Hey, you fixing cars and 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 all kinds of stuff. Don't you deserve a long orgasm? Okay. I guess I wasn't fix, that lucky fix it. God. <laughs> fix that. Hey, fix that. I'll tell you now. If 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 uh, the length of my orgasm or or the the work that I put in as far as fixing things determine the length of my orgasm, <laughs> call me Mr. Handyman. Man, I'm fixing it. all kinds of shit. I get just so I can get a long <laughs> orgasm. Okay. The difference between being like, see, he's single. Well, suppose I don't know. He's he's got he's running game. I don't know. <laughs> whatever sure. whatever Delano's he says doing. He, he got game. game, but whatever. <laughs> single and married, whatever. So I'm not married. When, I'm single. <laughs> whether you're single or married, this oh, okay. potato head doesn't have a brain and he just got <laughs> raw potato chips. More air out, please, B. <laughs> <laughs> The more <laughs> look when you're single, what do you do, Delano? After you bust a nut, you like, you probably suck. He probably sucks his thumb. Like <laughs> <laughs> she's like, Delano, what are we having? What are, you still here? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> but when you're married, you cuddle. You just like, ugh. No, he, he, he sucks his thumb and says, "Babe, I have a big penis, right?" <laughs> or, 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 or you know, hey, when, deep when LaShawn, relationships. He's you know, like, deep relationships. You know what I mean? When the show oh, yeah. girls is like, hey, yeah, you know, tries to hook up with him after he's done. And she's like, "Get out of here!" She's like, "But this is." This is a public bridge. <laughs> what? I'm allowed to stay here. This is uh, this public bridge. bridge is for the What's public. Number five? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, number five. All right, number five. Men are from <laughs> men are from Mars. I'm, I'm out the gate. And <laughs> men, okay, men are from Mars. Uh, I read and women are once. from Venus. Okay, there's a book out there, very popular book. That yes. men are from Mars. Basically, men don't listen or understand women. That's basically what that book is saying. We don't. Um, <laughs> uh, women, and I always say on this show, women oh. are a paradox wrapped in its own enigma because I'm a man of a certain age, and I, I've dated lots of women, and I still, to this day, younger men come and ask me and ask me for advice. You know, look, I'm going through this situation with this woman. Can you tell me what to do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this started since the beginning of time. Even... Freud said 100 years ago, one thing I still don't understand is what a woman wants. True. And, that, that and that's Freud. Sigmund Freud right there. Freud. Um, that's Sigmund Freud. I do think that like, when they come to us with problems, we're, we're wired to try to solve problems, right? Mm-hmm. And we think, Fix okay, things. you're having a problem with that, then don't do that, then try that, and then we'll solve it. And a lot of times they just want to be listened to. Yeah. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's easy to fall into that trap, and then they feel like you're criticizing them, and you're not, and, and, and men can get in trouble that way. And but I'm we're only out. trying to help. Women, we're only trying to help. That's that's, that's what, how we know to help is to men, fix. Men right? fix. fake it yeah. that they're listening for a while until they say, what? Oops, sorry, what would you say? <laughs> Are you <laughs> listening like, to me? Fuck. Are you listening <laughs> to me? <laughs> Let me start all over. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you talk to us, and it's, if it's been about, you know, eight or nine hours before sex, then yeah, I'm, yeah we're, of course we're going to listen to you. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to us after sex, all right? <laughs> we don't listen. hear shit you have to say. <laughs> okay. Number six, <laughs> LaShawn the Dunn. Why is it? Go ahead, LaShawn. I'm sorry. Number six. Why is there a potato head? I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> why is it more acceptable for women to abuse men physically? I don't think that is. That's just what I'm reading. Or emotionally. or emotionally. Or emotionally. Mm-hmm. You know, why right. is that considered uh, acceptable? It's just like. More acceptable. M- more acceptable. Yeah. Now, it's not acceptable. First of all, I'm glad nope. you clarified that, <clears> but. It's like a man doing a 360 dunk or a woman doing a 360 dunk. There's there's uh, levels to this shit, I guess you could say, right? Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Like yep. it's it's like a woman can't do as much damage on a man as a man could do on a woman. It's definitely frowned upon to assault your, your uh, <coughs> significant sex, other, or significant right. other, or your, your you know the opposite sex, right? For that matter, but um, I think it's like yeah, it's not acceptable. Period. But people tend to think that in society, like called, like like when a <coughs> when a teacher. Uh, bones a, a, a little boy, right? A hot teacher a hot is female looked teacher, upon yeah. as like, oh damn, you got game. You kind of want to give him a five, except for the kid's mom, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but um, when it's if it's a male teacher, you want to beat the shit out of that yeah. dude. Like you just like you okay, let's parking lot. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. So there's just different yeah, standards in society. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, double standards and things like that. Yeah. So just don't do it, man. <clears throat> it's called domestic violence. <laughs> don't do exactly. That. Yeah. yeah. It, but in, in these days, a woman, if a woman hits a man, by law, she's just as liable for. You know, she's just she's going to get in trouble just like the man. So yeah. I think it's um, uh, the cops. Co- I don't know if this is how it goes down, but whoever calls the cops first, 
<laughs> it's really <laughs> yeah. That's the the other guy, the person's going to jail. Yeah. You know? So just or shows try to solve the shit. Yeah. You know? yeah. Try to resolve it. Don't touch each other unless it's yeah. unless you're fucking. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or emotional like abuse. It says there too. Yeah, yeah. Emotional uh, abuse oh, as no. well. Yeah. 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 It's more. It's more acceptable for women. You know, I I, I do this joke. Uh, <clears throat> let me see if I remember it. You know, when a man, when a woman breaks up with a man or has a breakup with a man, and she's telling another woman about it, that woman is very understanding and and you know. Baby, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna find another man out there just perfect for you. But if a man breaks up with a woman, and he's telling um, a, a woman about it, uh, she's like, "Well, what did you do? You dirty dog. You dirty cheating dog. What did you do?" And then I'm like, "Well, mom, do you have to talk to me like this? You know, it's <laughs> it's uh, man, we get no sympathy when it comes to um, emotional nope. uh, abuse from women." But if a man emotionally abuses a woman, That's people told they completely understand that or understand it way well, more. Well, it gets back to, I think, what we were saying earlier, that we actually are very sensitive, you yeah. know, but that we can't show that too much. And so the society plays into, ah, it didn't hurt you that much here, guy. Right, but, yeah. exactly. Be but tough. We, but of course it does. So, right. You know? And when we don't have anybody to talk to. If I have a breakup with a woman, I can't talk, call tech or... No, they'll make fun of you. They'll yeah. make fun of me, exactly. Be a man boy. What do you, you know? That's <laughs> right. That's why we started the show. <laughs> <laughs> to let out our angst. Can I call you doctor if I ever have a breakup? Can I call <laughs> sure. you and talk to you? You won't make fun of me or anything? <laughs> you won't judge me? Okay. He's going to be like, be a man boy. He's going to hang with the phone and <laughs> laugh at you. <laughs> you know, He's definitely going to have some sunglasses on if you come without a hat. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Blind everybody in the office. <laughs> I'm sure I try to get every, you know, every little <laughs> crack let me get in there, jabs and Little Bill. Exactly. Little Bill. Exactly. <laughs> All right, number seven. Uh, Tech C. Men What's don't seven? cook or clean or take care of the house. Yeah, that's a stereotype that we don't cook. We saw the video. <clears throat> Many men mentioned that... Uh, <clears throat> that's something that they do. Now, most of these men are married, so I'm sure their wives make them do this. Right. If they lived alone, they probably wouldn't want to do this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they say men don't like to do these things. We don't like to cook. We don't like to clean. I love to cook. I'm, I'm actually a pretty good cook, uh, and I'm a clean guy. So Says him. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really. Says uh, nobody. Oh, yeah. Okay, no more chili for you then. <laughs> pull your weight, man. <laughs> Bottom line, pull your yeah. weight in yeah. the house, you know? Yeah. Like. It don't make your woman clean all the time either. That's disrespectful. Like, yeah. cl clean your shit up too, you know? Like, <clears throat> not all the time, but, you know, don't just leave a dookie stain in the toilet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> clean that shit up. Get that little thing. Flush. Just, you know? He, that means he's made that mistake. <laughs> right. That's a, <laughs> fuck, I speaking from experience. Shit slapped at him. <laughs> <laughs> speaking from experience. Talk shit about That's my right. wife. Well, I'm going to knock the black <laughs> off you. That's a lot of hitting. <laughs> <laughs> I watched That's the clip. Those are putazos right there. So, yeah, you know, we all know that that's not true. That's it. Well, I, I think though that men probably don't <laughs> pull their weight like as much as the woman does. Like they've well, even we shown work, studies you know? that we work no, they, they've shown studies yeah, if so. they're both working, like <laughs> yeah. the woman still does eighty percent of the household chores. That's messed up. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. that <clears throat> I, I do think it may not bother some of them as much as it does men though. Like I but I'm not sure. Yeah. Like yeah. do you guys hate cleaning as much as women hate cleaning? I, I mean or do you I hate know some more? dirty women out there who don't clean. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> don't really take care of the chores around <laughs> the house. Clean their house, and they're not cleaning something else. They're not clean. I've been to some dirty women's <laughs> houses or some houses oh, that are pretty okay. dirty. I think it's both. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, ways. don't you? You. I lived alone for a long cleaning. time, so I, I clean, clean, cook, clean and shit. wash my dishes. <clears throat> yeah. Clean, wash, clothes. iron, do everything we got to do, man. Shit, okay, okay what about now? You're married. Do you do most of that now? I wash the clothes still. Do you take out the trash? Take out the trash. Okay, Takes the shit around the house. M Cook. Miss Miss Tech C, if the number is eight one eight five seven zero five zero eight five, we want to know if that's if that's, that's true. Not true. Or not. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Bye. Uh, <laughs> all right, number eight. Vato V. All men are the same. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> We're all the same. Well, that's not true. I'm a clinical s sports um, psychologist, <laughs> just like Dr. Uh, right. Whitman here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm Vato V. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just like I'm a I'm a big strong Mexican. <laughs> I'm a handyman who knows how to fix things, and I'm dark as hell. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, hey, we're all the same, right? Is that true? Uh, yes. Okay. That sounds right. good. Yes. Come on. How true is that? How nope. true is that? What? Yeah, doctor. Dude, what's I, up? I, I don't, I've answer. never heard that one. That is all men are the same. All men are the same. All men are all bunch all of men are dogs that, and uh, all kinds of stuff. Damn you know, dog. Of course yeah. not. Yeah. Truth. There you go. There you go. You heard it from the doctor. It's not true. It's not true. There you go. Simple as that. It's a professional sense. All right. Number nine. Men aren't 
as good with children as women. That is not true. False. Yeah, but I'm true. sorry. False. That's not false. True. False. That it was false. true 80 years ago because the stereotype was men couldn't be like that soft. Even they had to be like, yeah. oh, I got to work and then take a drink and then go to bed. Yeah. But now yeah. men, I think, are allowed to show their soft side with kids more, and they're cool. You're a father. You can chime in more. I was gonna say that man, man poor father, man, that missed out on their kids' <clears> joy like yeah. that. Yeah. That that sucks. Yeah. They're just yeah. like there's those yeah. are moments that yeah. keep you alive, Fuck man. Yeah. Like that. I couldn't even imagine that. Like, just, hey, I gotta go to bed. Ah, fuck out of here. Like, yeah, no, yeah, man, that's, yeah. your, that's, your, that's kid, your kid, right? man. You know what I mean? So, that's your that, kid. I like, feel bad for the fathers that went out, like, and they yeah. just worked their whole life. How can you say no when your son runs up to him, like, Daddy, just, stay with me? Just, yeah. yeah, I mean, let's do uh, it. That's crazy. Okay, let me put this down. Yep, I know. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. To Enjoy me, that. the most beautiful You're thing is my daughter was like, Daddy, Daddy. That's just such a beautiful sound to me. Yeah. If you made a song, you know, with my daughter saying that to me, you know, I, I could just listen to that all day, man. So. I'll sing it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> daddy. <laughs> daddy. Daddy, daddy. Daddy, be a man, boy. Don't, don't, be a man. <laughs> don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Because it's mine. Yeah, you, do, you have, do you have kids, doctor? I do not. Do not? Okay, okay, okay. Do you plan on having kids? I know I'm putting your business probably, out there. Probably. Yeah, yeah, okay. Doctor, doctor hey, you Whitman, and I are a lot alike, man. St- stay off Facebook. You know what I mean? You might have you might have a BM. You went to Michigan. He looks like Brady, so. <laughs> Just like you. little go. Brady's Just out like, there. there you go, little Brady. Is that Tom? Is that my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, motherfucker. It's Dr. Whitman. That's your daddy. <laughs> Scariest cause. Uh, I would claim Tom and his money before I would. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the scariest thing in this show is we, us getting a female caller in, like, um, can I speak with Dr. Whitman? Someone wants to say hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Scary ass call. That's been his That's another <laughs> Michael Whitman who went to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> sports psychologist in Beverly Hills. No, they, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> they got to out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, Dr. Oh, where'd he go? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Whitman was just here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what? He slipped in the door like that, The, man. the kid's going to call and like, Papi? <laughs> Apa? Uh, Papa? 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 You that game of beer pong went a little too far <laughs> right back in college, man. Oh, you can man. edit out certain parts of this show, right? <laughs> okay. yeah. It's live, that man. Was, oh, there you go. Shit. Sam. Oh, man. We got to get through these. Okay, so number nine. I, I want to take, I, I believe you're next, Vato V, but I'm going to say take number nine. You can take number ten. A man that takes pride in his appearance of course. is considered metrosexual <laughs> or gay. <laughs> See how he wanted to grab that one so yes, bad? Yes. I love I my dude no matter say. what, but he, he took that upon him. It's not your turn yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's mine. And I'm saying this I'm one. Damn it. I want to be Metro today. Damn it. I got to hear you did not know. Um, what, I what? got something to say. <laughs> 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 of course you do. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, first of all, just because a man takes pride in who, who he is, and how he, you know, shaves and, and, and Are you hungry gets over his there? toes done and that type of thing, <laughs> whatever. That does not make a man metrosexual or um, no. or undercover type. They call I believe what they call it when uh, men do undercover gay things. It's it, called uh, I forget Delano. Undercover that's brother. <laughs> that's what it's the called. The, it's called the, the host, host. When you the go host of the mentality show, shop for <laughs> shoes for two hours straight. That's okay. metro. But who gets right? their toes painted on IG? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you cannot <laughs> say anything <laughs> about metro. Hey, you get on. your toes Damn. painted on. I find it with my wife, and we had we got our. He, Blame you know, it on your wife. Blame I cannot your wife. confirm nor deny. <laughs> yes. Right. It's on Jeff IG. Kelly Check it out. It's, it's the forty. Th- it's on our mentality show IG. This man it gets his stories. It gets erased. <laughs> <laughs> so why is that, doctor? Why do uh, why do mostly? It's not even women that say women love men who take care of right, their piss. It's right, other men. Who make fun of I this. mean, that was an old thing. Like 30, 40 years ago, if a guy looked like he put himself together, that guy goes, oh, he's gay. Yeah. Exactly. I, I think it's probably competitive. It's, a, it's probably a jab. Mm-hmm. It's you a jab because they're because inside they're insecure, or they're being hated. I, I think it's yeah. a, I think it's a competitive comment. You know, he must yeah. be gay if he looks better than me. Something. There like you go. Oh, okay. You well, I mean? if that's if looks determine you know me being gay, then uh, you know then most of the guys no, are the same. Then yeah, I'm, I'm gay. About the two hours I'm of gayer than you guys. Shoes. Like when I buy shoes, I, I look in, on the internet or on the sale paper, and I go buy the damn pair. That's it, done deal. But you know you what? You like shop like Did he for buy anything? Hours. No, he Did didn't. He, he tried them on and you know walked what? around the store and like bounced around and was like, the girls. But you know what, doctor? The girls are like, what the fuck is he but doing? But you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I put those shoes on my feet that are unmanicured. <laughs> this man puts old shoes on manicured feet, so you can't talk about that. But anyway, uh, those, number those 10, Vato V. Chocolates. Where we at? Number 10. Number 10. Uh, a man's value is determined by what he does or earn. Is that true? 
A man's value is determined by right. how much money he makes, right. how much that money happens. he earns. Yeah. In Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, he's like, uh, I'm a doctor, so uh, I make 300000 a year. Yeah, so let's, let's stick with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Some of these aren't myths. <laughs> It's like, that was actually true, you know? <laughs> all you ladies out there, that's true. I make 300000 a year. Uh, so, yeah, you know, we, we all do make a pretty good living here, uh, except for LaShawn. We do pretty well, you know? But I still, don't, I still don't feel like... Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I don't feel like I should, you know, the respect that I'm due should be because of what I do. Because, I mean... We're only anything could happen where we could lose our jobs. True. Yep. Uh, we could, you know, lose our status in life. You still want to have respect from other people when you talk to them and when you deal with them. You know, so I don't believe that's true, and it shouldn't still exist. All right, number eleven. I say one more thing on yes. that. There, there's an element of truth. If I have a patient who comes with a job loss, if it's a woman, she's upset by it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it hurts. If it's a man, it can just crush his identity in a much bigger way. Right. You know, because we are attached to our jobs and right. our identity more. Right. So I, I think that still is how we're socialized somewhat right. is like that is our value, even though it shouldn't be. Right. right. We have some, I have some of that. I mean, I think most guys do. And the reason why is because society put that on us as yeah, well. You know, yeah. if society didn't put that on us so strongly, we wouldn't have to feel that way. Uh, yeah, but because, of course, we're human beings and we have a lot of value no matter what. But exactly. we, we get that message. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. It's a stereotype that needs to, you know, be gone. Uh, number 11, uh, yeah, number 11, uh, uh, LaShawn, right? And we got to breeze through these things, guys. We've got three more minutes left. That's, That's what she said. It. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> all men should be strong physically and mentally at all times. Show strong. no fear, fear. ever. <sighs> uh, did you, whoever wrote that drink a beer, because if I see a damn lion coming at me 100 miles an hour, I'm scared of shit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm scared of shit. I, about, things about, scare me all the time. How about the Lagos yeah, coming that's at ridiculous. you 100 miles an hour? he <laughs> 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 be like, the what now? What did he say? I don't know. Did he shoot? Cabbage Patch Kids. See, he <laughs> says some things sometimes. You got to pull that string. <laughs> um, but uh, so, yeah, I'm, I have fears. Yeah, yeah, it's, fears human. yeah fear. it's human to have yeah. fear. And like you said, survival. Sometimes we need fear. Yeah. 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 Flight or fright. Uh, I'm sorry. Fight or fight. fight. Or Fight or flight. flight. Yeah, yes. fight or flight. Yes. Don't, don't fuck this up. Yeah. So <laughs> more is, the, is the flight part for just women? No, hell no. I'm running too if some, something scares me. I mean, me. we don't talk politics a lot, but <clears> Trump <throat> used that stereotype to get some backing. Like, this guy's weak. This guy has low energy. No, this yeah. guy's yeah. little. Yeah. You know, he kind of played on I'm the real man. And yeah. somehow, right. you know, he gained traction with it. Wow. Yeah. You know? Donald oh, yeah. Trump, oh, yeah, man. he did. Donald yeah. Trump. All right, number 12. Uh, tech. Men can never play the victim. Men can never play the victim. <clears throat> women always play the victim. At, I'm not going to say all, but it's easier for women to play the victim more than men. If we try to play the victim and express our, our fears we're or weak. something that happened to us, we'll be weak. we're considered to be weak yeah. and, you know, be a man boy. Yeah, what are you right. afraid of? You know, you're, you're supposed to be tough and, right. and you're not supposed, you know, you hear it all the time. Be a man. Go in there and talk to her. Women will even say it. Be a man. And, go, you know, yeah. first of all, a woman has no idea what it is to be a man. Are you a man? You know? Even yeah. men don't have any idea of what it is to be a man. So how the <laughs> hell do you know? So I hate when people say, especially women, say that to. Yeah, when be I a hear man. them say that, what does be a man, man got to do you know? to be a man? I yeah, think the so, message yeah. is a little bit like some this. Men aren't men. We want you to show your feelings. The women say that to us, but but not that much. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's more narrow. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's more narrow. Doing it's, that's why now. it's challenging to be manly but sensitive and. Yeah. We're kind of put in these boxes, too. Yeah. And that's why it's so hard to be be a man. Yeah. Uh, so number 13. Um, I think uh, Delano needs to take 13 also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. This one's a little like, – you have to explain this. Okay. Sexual crimes against men is no laughing matter either. Nope. Okay. So a lot of times in society, uh, let's say I was going to go to prison. Some of these guys would probably say to me, hey, make sure you don't drop the soap. Right. You know what I mean? Make sure they use Vaseline and then they laugh and joke about it and that type of thing. This is a situation where I'm about to go into a, a, a place and get raped. Right. You know, I'm going right. to get uh, – I'm getting raped. Maybe if a woman was in that situation and someone laughed, they're the worst person in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But why is it different when it comes to men? Yeah, that that is messed up. Why is it okay if we're violated that that's funny? But you know, it shouldn't be. I don't. <laughs> but there be, there yeah. is that stereotype that you know, yeah. teasing a guy about that is acceptable. But right, I, and I'm not sure why. But it's 
it's probably scary for man or woman, of course. You right. Know. Right. In that situation. So. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, and you're a man being raped by another man. Now, if you're being raped by a woman, <laughs> that shit is funny. No, <laughs> no but it's no, it's uh, <laughs> it's another man. Uh, it's it's that's no. It's just the I was telling you guys beforehand, I, I used to work in the uh, prisons. And right. so they a lot of them struggle these super stereotypes. Like, I always got to be tough. I can't show vulnerability. Right. I'll get beat up or raped. And it's just sort of like you always have to on your muscle. Right. And that's a tough way to go through each day where you can't be human, mm-hmm. too. Right. right. Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be a man boy. Be a man boy. That, put that's on, what that, says ru- it all put on that rubber with, a, with these teeth. <laughs> <laughs> be a man boy. Yeah. All right. Number 14. You know, uh, number 14 is kind of weak. I'm going to skip that. Men eat more than women. That's kind of weak. I uh, know. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your girl can eat, man. Um, <clears throat> number 15. Men should, all men should love sports. All men should love sports. I know two guys here at this table. Well, actually, one guy here at this table. I'm not going to say any names uh, for our radio audience out there. Tech, <laughs> Texie, um, who uh, is not really, very, really much into sports. He drinks beers. He can fix shit, but he's not into sports. So that's not true. Dodger fan. That's how that matters. And, and my favorite, <laughs> before we end, my favorite, why do all black, black men have Blink. large penises? <laughs> That's a stereotype out there. He cannot confirm. That's a stereotype out there. Now, I'm going to say, like you, doctor, with the man who, you know, earns how much he earns is what he is. I'm going to go. I'm going to say that one's true. I don't know. (laughs) For some reason, I'm going to go ahead and say that that one's true. And if it's not, please, out of all the fucked up stereotypes out there that they have about black men, let's have that one. Let us keep at least that nice stereotype about us. Don't take that away from us. We cannot confirm. All right. Now, (laughs) being a man is only what you as a man feel about yourself as long as you're happy with who you are that's all that matters okay let's ignore these gender roles any last words dr whitman oh it was a lot of fun to be here a lot of fun having you yeah man. thank you yeah. appreciate yeah. it a lot yeah. of fun having you, guys you went were great. easy on me you guys needled each other and went easy on me so I appreciate <laughs> it. no you were great doctor we, yeah. we're gonna have you back uh Almost we really definitely. appreciate you being here and, yeah. and giving your professional input on these on these gender roles and these sure. stereotypes. And let's go ahead and thank you, thank the doctor. For we need an evaluation. <laughs> we have some audience people are asking, why is this a topic that he has to always focus on is his penis? Is there, <laughs> re- is there a reason for it? Like, can you explain yeah, that? Can you explain He's that? asking yeah, that. The no, no, it's right here. here. Yeah, I got, we got a, uh, one of our viewers asking he why had, he loves He had his sister t- text that in. So. Uh, see. I guess that's a positive <laughs> stereotype. <laughs> that's <laughs> a great stereotype. <laughs> so he's got to keep living for it? All right. Mexican word of the day. Vato V, what is that? Washer. 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 Why is washer the Mexican word of the day? I think my old lady is cheating on me, so I got to wash her closely. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, that is our show. Let's thank LA Aerial Images and say Image. thank Dr. <laughs> Dr. Whitman one Dr. more time. Whitman. Dr. Right, Dr. Michael Whitman. Whitman. In. Appreciate it. AKA that, Tom Brady. That, that, <laughs> website is Dr., that, that website is www.drmichaeljwhitman.com. There you go. Check him out and also check out his podcast. Uh, and check us out next week. We'll be back for episode 28. Catch us on latalkradio.com, www.dementalityshow.com. Past episodes on YouTube. Tell your friends. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Vamanos. Vamanos. Oh, remember? You're listening to The Mentality Show, only on LA Talk Radio.